Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Today I will be giving you guys a tutorial on how to properly download Reshade and navigate the system on Star Stable. Reshade, defined by Google, is a generic post-processing injector for games and video software which probably makes no sense. In better terms, it's an added on system you can use to make your game have fun filters or dynamic lighting, or just better graphics overall. Now, in order to download Reshade, you need to go to the official reshade.me website. Um, you can either type it in or you can use the link in my description. Click on the download button and after that, you can select the second download option. I'm not sure if it makes a difference which one you press, but the second one always seemed to work the best for me. After you download it, open up the downloaded setup. Star Stable isn't listed on here, so you're gonna have to find it in your files. Click on the browse button, go to your computer's program files. Star Stable is located in either the program files or the times 86 program files, but mine is located in the normal one. Find the Star Stable file and open up the client folder, then select SSO client as your application. Then it's going to ask you for your rendering API. Star Stable uses the OpenGL one, so just click on that one and press next. Then you can add a downloaded preset if you choose so. So this step is optional. I'm just going to choose the same preset that I used in my last video. Then you click next. Then all the effect packages pop up. It doesn't give you all of them automatically, so just uncheck all of them, then check all of them. Then it's going to install. Once it's done and you have a green check mark, you can click the finish button and start to open Star Stable. If you added a preset like I did, it will automatically load into your game and your game might look a little funky like mine. <laughs> oh, oh. You know it worked if you have this little notification on the top of the screen? And if you click on the home button on your keyboard, the reshade menu pops up and you can start the tutorial. Since I've had reshade, I'm just going to skip the tutorial. If you want to be able to toggle your effects, you can make a hotkey by going to the settings tab, then clicking on the open space and typing whatever button you'd like to use. I'd suggest using one that doesn't already do something in your game, so I'm going to use you. And ta-da! You can press the home button again and now you have reshade installed. That's going to be the end of today's video. I really hope you guys found it helpful. I still don't even know the whole depths of reshade, so don't be scared if creating your own presets can be frustrating. You can always download other people's presets and support them. Subscribe if you're new to my channel and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!